Hello everybody, welcome to TRAS e-learning physics videos. Today we'll be discussing about fundamental units and in that we'll be covering the topic concept and explanation related to fundamental units. Uh, this topic is divided into two parts. This is the first video related to concept and explanation. So let's see what all topics we'll be covering in this video. Uh, we'll be discussing about what is meant by physical quantity, what are fundamental quantities, what are fundamental units, and examples of fundamental quantities and their units. So let's start. First of all, what is meant by physical quantity? A physical quantity is that quantity which can be measured. So uh, here you can see that I have uh, written about three quantities like mass, length, and time. These three are considered as physical quantity because these quantities can be measured. And you can see here I have taken three images. This image is of balance, this image is of scale, and this one is a sand clock. Now you must be thinking that uh, why I have taken these three images along with this three physical quantities. As we are talking about these physical quantities and these quantities can be measured, so there has to be some specific instrument to uh, measure these quantities. Like for example, mass can be measured with the help of the balance. The length can be measured with the help of the scale, while the time can be measured with the help of the sand clock. So to measure any of the physical quantity, we need to have some instrument to measure the values and to get the data. This was the first thing. The second important thing about the physical quantity is that we need to specify them with the help of some specific unit. Like, for example, if I'm taking this weight here and I'm weighing it, I will write as the mass as 4. Now, what is 4? What I gonna write here? So either I will be writing gram or I will be writing kg. I have to write some unit associated with this numeric value. So what I'm trying to say here is that uh, each and every physical quantity has its unit in the measuring world. That means when we are defining or when we are writing a physical quantity, we need to write a unit along with it uh, just to check in which unit it is being measured. And now the question arises, what is, is this unit? Units are nothing but the standards used for measuring physical uh, quantities. Uh, we need to have some standards to write the value of these physical quantities after measuring them with the help of these instruments. As I've given you example here of 4 gram or 4 kg, uh, I would like to go for the time now, say 10. So what I'm going to write here, either I will write 10 seconds or the 10 minutes. So these standards are nothing but the units in uh, which we are writing the physical quantity. We have started about uh, physical quantities. Now let us understand what are fundamental quantities. Fundamental quantities are those quantities which are not dependent on any other physical quantity for their measurements. Quantities like mass, length, and time are known as fundamental quantities. That means I am considering mass, length, and time which are physical quantities as fundamental quantities. So what is the justification I can give you why I'm considering this mass, length, and time as physical quantities? Let me explain you with the help of an example. Here I am taking this well, wait, I am taking it here and let the mass comes out to be 4 kg. And now I'm taking one pencil or pen you can say and the length of that pencil is say 7 cm. If I ask you now that uh, is 4 kg related to 7 cm uh, in some respect or not? So I can, uh, like if I change 4 kg to say 6 kg, do the length of the pencil will increase or the decrease? 
No, that will not happen. That means mass and length are independent. If I change the value of mass, the length will not change. And if I change the value of length, the mass will not change. That means they are uh, not dependent on each other. Same goes, like if I take time, I will consider one or duration each. Say 6 a.m., then 7 a.m., then a.m. That means after, uh, say, two hours, will the length of this pencil will change if I don't hamper it or if I not break it somehow? No, that will not change. Uh, same goes for the mass. After two hours, if I'm not uh, touching this, nothing is happening to it, it's untouched, the 4 kg mass will remain 4 kg, nothing will happen to it. So that means with time, neither mass is changing, neither the length is changing. And same goes for vice versa. Changing the mass or changing the length will not change the value of time. So that means this mass, length and time are independent of each other. They are not dependent on each other and that is why we are considering them as fundamental quantities. Part 1 ends here.